feet. That, that, that's exactly what'll happen, folks. That's exactly what'll happen when you got your back to a guy in a headlock. Michael May making an amateur mistake, and Cody Mack able to capitalize now with an arm drag takedown. Michael May to the outside to contemplate things. Oh, wait a second, look at this! Look at this! Oh, you're not gonna like this, Michael May. Ah! Oh, did you see that? I don't know if the cameras picked it up, but Michael May just delivered a thump right into the eye of Cody Mack. And now the onslaught begins while Cody Mack is, is, is trying to clear his vision. I told you before, and I'll tell you again, that turnbuckle pad, it'll stop the cut, but it doesn't stop the, the, the impact. It's solid steel under that pad, and the pad is not very thick. Look at this now. Another nonchalant cover. Oh, look at that. Michael May with a beautiful arm in suplex. You see how Fellow uh, really seems to know his, his tosses. I mean, he surprised me with two beautiful suplexes that you don't see very often. Now back to this unique hole. Let's see if he grabs. Wait a second. got all kinds of unique ways to twist a person's body up. That's almost a calf crusher. It's almost a calf crusher, and he's got Tony Mack's own arm wrapped around his throat again. You see Cody Mack, and he twisted up like a pretzel trying to reach that bottom rope. Michael May, though, will not relent. Tony Mack just mere inches from the bottom rope. Finally gets there. Michael May forced to break the hole. Those men now back to the base. Michael May with a high kick. And another high kick. It could be right across the upper arm of Cody Mack. And another high kick. Cody Mack ducking under. Michael May caught up on the top rope. Gives Cody Mack a chance to get back in this fight and get back in it. He will, too. And uppercuts. Followed by an Irish whip, Michael May. Michael May in all kinds of trouble. Another European uppercut, got Cody Mack fired up. Strong Lariat off the rope with a, with a high knee, it looked like. Ref led in position one, two, oh. Who were the cheers fan? Who were the fans cheering? Oh! the fans cheering for and who just speared you out of your boots, Michael May? Ref, time with a one, two. Oh, no, you got to be kidding me. Tenacity as well. Michael May has a lot of tools in his kit. You can add tenacity to that because let me tell you, it takes a tough SOB to kick out of that spear from Cody Mack. He delivers one of the best spears in the business. It reminds me of massive damage back in the day when he used to spear me out of my boots. Oh, 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 Michael Mack, but Cody, Michael May. I'm all tongue twisted, folks. This is amazing. Watch now. Michael May, Michael May, Cody Mack. One, two, he, he got him. Cody Mack got him. Cody Mack surprised him. Michael May had Cody Mack set up for a look. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sugar Shane Williams. My guest at this time is Crude Oil Cody Mack. Welcome to the show, Cody. Shane, it's always a pleasure, bud. So, Bud's Crude Oil Cody Mack here. The blue collar brawler, you know what it is. Putting in work. I've got the right tool for the job. Cody, I just wanted to talk to you quick. I wanted to congratulate you on another successful outing here at Pure Power Wrestling. You defeated Michael May, who was a newcomer here. Yep. His first match here. Yep. What did you think of the new guy? Oh, man. Let me tell you, Michael May, you might be a loudmouth, but you're six foot seven, and you're no joke. For a second there, just a second, I thought I was doomed. That's it. I thought you'd taken me past my limit, but no. Old crude oil, always got a few tricks up my sleeve. Well, again, congratulations 
on your win. What do you have planned for the future now? Honestly, it's titles. Now everybody knows, Sydney Steele and I, we have history. Sydney Steele, buddy, I'm coming for you. I see all the dastardly things you're doing. You think you're smart. You think that you can pull the wool over everybody's eyes? Not crude oils. I got all my, my reflective shades on, so you better watch out, buddy, because you ain't gonna be blindsiding me this time. I'm coming for that title, all right? Mark my words, or what? Tucker giving High Class his arm. High Class going to work. Clearly, he's not the type to look a gift horse in the mouth, but look at the power. Look at the power of the Crazy Tiger. Here we go now. Collar elbow Zaya, Crazy Tiger, easily forcing High Class into the corner. Delivers a few short elbows, and Irish whip all the way across. High Class hit. Crazy time. Here he goes with the elbows. There's one. Watch this now all the way across the ring. Boom! There goes another one. Not really elbows as much as. Oh! Crushing high class with that clothesline. High class, not sure which side of town he's on or which town it is he's really in. Of course, I'm surprised he's still able to, 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 to walk upright at this moment because Crazy Tiger hit him with some serious assault. High class taking a couple of minutes outside to think about it. Oh, Crazy Tiger pulling high class back to his feet. Oh, not this. We've seen this before. Right in the bush. Avoid any serious damage. Oh, wait a second. High class going for the eyes. You know, I can't really say I blame him. Then a, 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 a chop block on the left leg, and he looks like he's isolated the left leg of Crazy Tiger. Oh, oh. Stick and move, stick and move. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, he just stomped on, on Crazy Tiger's knee from the second row. Now high class in the driver's seat. Taking his time for a smaller man. He's really taking his time. You would expect a smaller man to be moving a, a lot quicker, but class only had success when he had Crazy Tiger grounded. Crazy Tiger now getting fired up. You're, uh, you're, you're, you're not going to have success striking against a man like that. There's no way. Crazy Tiger now opening up with elbows and an Irish whip. High class though with, oh! No siree, bug on the windshield is all I'm thinking. Look at the, look at the power. Look at the power Crazy Tiger has. He's manipulating, ooh! Manipulating high class. Watch this, if he nails this, it's over. If he nails this once, oh! <laughs> Did you see the height? Crazy Tiger! Crazy Tiger! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sugar Shane Williams. My guest at this time is the Crazy Tiger. Crazy Tiger, welcome to the show. Yeah. Just wanted to talk to you quickly while well, you have a couple minutes. You were victorious yet again. Ah, yeah, yeah, here yeah. Here wrestling, you defeated High Class in his first match here. How, yeah. are, you, how are you feeling about how that match? You know what? Went? I don't know anything about this High Class guy. He's claimed to be uh, some sort of king of Ghana. I don't know. He threw his crown at me at the beginning of the show, so I think I'm royalty now. So, 
You might find me in Ghana. I am the king. Uh, also, it seems that the crooked management of Pure Power Wrestling just doesn't like the guy coming in to deal with all the bullies. So they're calling him new bullies, right? We've seen the return of this little sneaky man, Sidney Steele. And now he's got the title championship around his belt. Crooked. Crooked is all I have to say. You know, you, you, want, you want your champion to be some little sneak thief? So be it. You know, I'm the guy claiming to come here and clean everything up, and you gotta call someone else in to try and take care of me? That ain't happening. That ain't happening. I'm the king. Good night. This one underway before the bell even rings. Tyson Hiller doing a lap. I, I think it was accidental that he ran into the Cowboy. Cowboy Grim Watts just had his head bounced off the corner post. Folks, this is the password in a pumpkin match. Watts in this matchup. Grim Watts can, can, can can do whatever he wants. I know Tyson Hill is having his way now, but Grim Watts is one of the toughest competitors you're gonna find in, in pure power wrestling in any wrestling organization. This man is tougher than nails. Tyson Hill now, with, he might end this early. All he has to do is get the password out of that pumpkin. Find Grim Watts there, he's on the inside. Ref then calls for the bell. This one finally underway. Tyson Hiller climbing the ropes. Here we go. You gotta love PPW fans. Hiller now on the outside going after Brent Watts. Ooh, wow. One quick shot in the belly and then turned around. Ooh, drives Hiller's head right into the, to the, to the outside of the canvas area. That is really, really dense on that part of the ring, folks. It hurts a lot. Tyson Hill was, was, was uh, to throw a little bit more hip action into his punches. He'd probably land with a little more impact. It's the hips that are missing from his punches. Now in the driver's seat. Stay down. Ouch. Tyson Hiller in a world of hurt now. You can see. You can see the results. Now watch Brent Watts as he goes to work. Boom. It is downright frightening now. Brent Watts looks like he intends to use that pumpkin as some sort of a weapon. Let's see if Hiller can manage to get to. Whoa, 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 whoa. So far, the pumpkin is safe. Hiller got Brent Watts hooked up. What a beautiful suplex. Very nicely done. Actually, apply in this match. I think the first guy who can. can, can, can whoa, whoa, whoa. Brent Watts eating a boot in the bread basket for his troubles. He was going to drive that pumpkin right across the, the, the head of Tyson Hiller, I'm sure. Could have been a knockout blow with something that heavy. Tyson Hiller, though, having none of it. That's a second clothesline. Brent Watts back up. Tyson Hiller off the ropes. Here we go. Irish whip. Brent Watts up and spine buster. That looked painful. 
Hiller, though, pretty gassed himself. I mean, it was one hell of an offense, kid, but get, 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 get your wind and get up and get moving. Don't let them watch you recover. That's the last thing you want. Here we go, Hiller now. Hiller now, what's he gonna hook up? Not that he's going straight for the pumpkin. Bryn Watts making a, 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 a hasty escape. Pure Power Wrestling fans solidly behind Tyson Hiller. Out uh, to the outside now, Tyson. Close line to the outside. <laughs> Bryn Watts sent crashing to the, to the floor. Hiller now rolls him back in the ring. Oh, no, 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 no. Hiller all the way up to the top rope. Bryn Watts. Bryn Watts resting on that pumpkin. That's exactly where. Oh, no, 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 no. Bryn Watts just playing possum, giving Tyson Hiller enough time to get up to the top rope, and then Bryn Watts makes his move. Now screaming in the face of, oh boy, oh boy. I think Cowboy Bryn Watts just shifted into overdrive. He's gonna try and superplex Tyson Hiller onto that pumpkin. That will certainly, that will certainly cause severe injury like I said, it's not just a pumpkin, folks. This is, oh, come on, Brent, don't do this. Tyson Hiller fighting his way out. Brent Watts barely hanging on. These fans getting behind Hiller. Brent Watts managing to hang on. Now oh, Hiller. Hiller climbing up to the top rope. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. Oh! Bryn Watts had that one scouted. Now Hiller gonna be singing near the front of the choir for a while. He landed awkwardly. No, 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 no. Bryn Watts trying that superplex again. He might put Hiller in the hospital if he lands this. Bryn Watts just shifted gears and, and it's just not gonna end well for Tyson Hiller. I guarantee it. Hiller though, this tough youngster, managing to stay toe to toe with an experienced veteran. Oh no, 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 watch this. He's gonna do the stampede. He's gonna stampede one. Oh! Oh! On to the pumpkin. So sexy! Bryn Watts just retrieved that password. Wow! What a matchup. Bryn Watts coming out on top, finally retrieving the password to those sunglasses. Folks, before we head to our intermission, I want to remind you that this event, this Pure Power Wrestling Nightmare Before Halloween, is all that it tributes to our lost friend, Vinny Valentine, who lost his life to complications from COVID one week ago tonight. We here at Pure Power Wrestling are devastated by the loss of our dear friend. 
This night's for you, my brother. Gentlemen, my name is Sugar Shane Williams. My guest at this time is Cowboy Bryn Watts. Sexy Cowboy! Call it, that's it. Same. Sexy Cowboy. Sexy! So again, one more. I love that. Sexy Cowboy. Sexy Cowboy! Tyson! I told you, Tyson! Months and months! You've made my glasses say ugly. This is the last time, Tyson, these glasses will say ugly. I have the real password. You want to tell me what it is? You don't get to! I've had to work for this so long! I, I didn't even have Bringer today! Where is Bringer? I don't know. Nobody's seen him. I'm sexy once again. Not ugly cowboy. But I'm now sexy cowboy. And now... Shane. Yes. I'm gonna go find Bringer. I'm gone! To find... Stone Bringer. Now Sebastian making his way to ringside as he's going to challenge Sidney Steele. He won hell of a contest as soon as Sidney Steele makes it to ringside. Here he comes. Sebastian on the heels of El Diablo, Sidney Steele, who's... Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! It was all a big setup. Sidney Steele from behind. Sidney Steele in control of the uh, uh, proceedings here early on. Another Irish whip, Kyle Sebastian, hard in the buckle. Whoa, way up in the air. They exchange lariats and watch this now. Sebastian laying in wait. Sidney Steele taking the bait. Now Sebastian with a clothesline wound up from his boots. One, two, Sidney Steele powering out. What an exciting matchup early on. Watch this now, Irish whip in the corner. Kyle Sebastian, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Most people don't go that high on vacation. Sebastian taking to the skies and, and bringing down Sidney Steele. Listen to this crowd get behind Sebastian. They want him to retain that Pure Power Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Kyle, wow! Kyle Sebastian with a clothesline and follows it up with a back elbow. Sidney Steele in a world of trouble back to his feet. Kyle Sebastian, did you see the height on that drop kick? That was a six foot drop kick. Kyle Sebastian played it right there, and he almost got it. He almost got it. That was a two count, two and three quarters. Sidney Steele out at two and three quarters, barely retaining his heavyweight championship. Kyle Sebastian, oh! oh my gosh, oh you're kidding me, oh another one, all I can say is ow, oh my goodness that's painful, that is so painful, look at that, oh! a super kick, Sydney Steele on Dream Street, Kyle Sebastian got him hooked up, Oh! Rev Curtis with a one, two, and oh! Sydney Steele able to kick out. I don't know how. He's one tough son of a bitch, I'll give him that. Both men back to a vertical base now. It's how, oh, Kyle Sebastian has him up. Kyle Sebastian has him up. This could be it. If Sydney Steele can't get his way out of this, it's, oh, oh. Sidney Steele manages to get his feet back on the ground. Hooking Sebastian up for, no, 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 Sebastian. Whoa, another chop at the chest. Irish you up in the corner, reverse. Sebastian up, over. Sidney Steele caught him. 
Look at the power! One, two, so ring the bell! Wait a second now, wait a second. Look out, Kenny. Look out, Parrish rather. Oh, Parrish, Chris Parrish out, and, and, and looks like he's going for a suplex to me. Oh, no, 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 Ken Stevens. Ken Stevens slipping and sliding, Par Parrish. Oh, 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 look for a neck break. Oh, the parachute. This could be it, folks. One, two, go. Oh! Somehow, Ken Stevens kicked out. Chris Parrish used that maneuver to put away many wrestlers. Oh, no. Somehow, Tyler Knox found a steel chair. Somehow, Tyler Knox found a steel chair. If that comes into play, it could make short work for somebody, folks. This is where things get serious. This is where things get serious. Chris Parrish wielding that steel chair. Oh, it was close. It was close. Parrish just about. Oh, Stevens managed to get that. Oh! Oh! In a wicked turn of events, Ken Stevens used that chair on Chris Parrish. Tyler Knox ended up going through a table. Oh, 619! Dewey Robson got the 619! Kenny Stevens now, Chris Parrish can't stand up in that ring. Ken Stevens now, up and no! On the chair! You gotta be kidding me, one, two, he got him! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shane Williams. I have two guests right now. We've got Ken Stevens and Dewey Robson. Congratulations, guys, on your match tonight. Uh, you, especially you, Ken Stevens. You won your first match back here in Pure Power Wrestling. That's pretty huge. Good to be back. Good to be back, man. Like I said, uh, Parrish, Knox, you guys don't want to team up on Dewey. Well, you're not going to do it as long as I'm around. And guess what? I'm back. That's not going to happen again. You tried. You lost. That's right. You see, whenever Tyler Knox or Chris Parrish is involved, as long as it's an even fight, we win every single time. That's why Tyler, that Cruiserweight title, I'm coming for you. I've been number one contender for months now. It's time to pay the piper. All right, now, do we one quick, one last question for you, not to try to stir up any trouble or anything. When Ken Stevens was here before, you guys weren't on the same side. Did you have any reservations going into this match tonight? You know, you always have to have eyes in the back of your head. I've learned that, obviously. I'll tell you after tonight, I have 100% trust in Kenny. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. I, he's got my trust and my respect. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Thank you.